Welcome back. In this lecture, we shall create a Blazor server app using default server project template with Docker support enabled. So let's flip over to Visual Studio now. So I will now create a new project. Now Blazor app is one of the recent project templates. So I will create, I will click next and give it the name docker blazor server demo and click on create to create the project it will take a wee while to create the project so now this window comes up with a create a new blazor app now there are three things to remember here let it be configured for https so leave it leave this checkbox as it is and you can by default it is enable docker support so i can disable it i can re-enable because we need to enable the docker support and it requires Docker desktop, which I have already covered. What are the requirements of this um, course to run? You need a Docker desktop and you, will, you can uh, install it from the Docker official website. Now, another thing is that, you know, Docker works both on Linux as well as a Windows platform. So because I am working on Visual Studio for Windows or Windows 10 operating system, so I will let it be on Windows. Now, another thing is that if you forget to enable Docker support here, you can still enable it at a later stage once inside the project. Okay, so once when the project is created, I will show you again how you could add Docker support. So click on create, it will create the project. It takes a wee while to create the project. So we'll come back again. Now the project is loaded in the Visual Studio and you can see a Docker file. Okay. So last thing is that if you forget to add this Docker file or Docker support, you can always do so by clicking on, right clicking on the project and then click on here, add and then Docker support. So once more, right click, add and then Docker support, right? So in this lecture we have covered how you can create a Blazor server template and enable Docker support with a Windows platform for doing so.